Morning guys. I don't know about you, but in the winter, I really struggle to find things to blog about. So in this video, I'm gonna discuss some of the problems that face bloggers in the winter, and hopefully give some tips that you'll find useful. So make sure you watch the video to the end. Well, one of the biggest problems I have as a YouTuber is finding things to blog about, especially at this time of year. It's cold, it's miserable, there's not much going on. I tend to do things around travel and around basically where there's stuff going on. And I find that this time of the year, there's nothing exciting to really blog about. So today I thought I'd do something a bit different. I'm getting my car fixed at the moment, so while I'm doing that, it gives me a little bit of spare time, so I'm just gonna take the camera with me and uh, see what happens today. So most of you guys that watch my blogs know it doesn't go very long before we end up in a coffee shop. And hopefully today is going to be no different. Well, that was quite funny that I've just told the girls in the back of the shop that they're going to be on the central news. Well, it wouldn't be one of my blogs, would it, unless we got onto the subject of coffee. We've just come across this cafe and they've got their own custom blend of coffee called Frisky Goat, which they get from a local business in here in Soliol. Big thumbs up for Frisky Goat. It's a decent cup of coffee. I've just been talking to Karen, who's the owner of the Cafe Bean Cafe and Cranmore Industrial Estate in Solihull. Well, she's a really nice woman and she's got a nice coffee shop there. Great cafe, does good food, really nice and clean, great service, highly recommended. So if you're, for some reason, in the Cranmore area of Solihull, it's a great place to come and grab a coffee. Well done, Karen. Right, so Karen's just told me that this place where she gets the coffee from is just around the back here. So I'm going to go and check it out and see if I can find it because I really did like that coffee. Coffee Azura, that looks good to me. who's our barista trainer here. He's really good. He's really good. Well, that's great. I just knocked on the door of Cafe Azuro to say hi and to get some information about their coffee. And I was invited in by Nick. He says, come in and try some of the coffee. How fantastic is that? Well, morning guys. Last night I had a bit of bad luck. I went to pick the car up and unfortunately, it needed some work doing on it. So last night they uh, ordered the parts and I've dropped the car off again this morning. Well, as with most things in life, every cloud has a silver lining. So you can guess where I'm going this morning. Absolutely. Some good coffee and a nice bit of breakfast. Okay, so that's me all topped up on coffee, so I'm nice and happy now. And earlier on I said I'd give you some tips on how to vlog in the winter, so let's get into those tips. Okay, so if you're a seasoned vlogger, some of these tips might seem fairly obvious to you, but if, like me, you're new to YouTubing, they're actually quite useful. My number one tip, first of all, just get out there. Get your coat on, wrap up warm, and get outside. My second tip may seem fairly obvious, but it wasn't to me before. Make sure you keep your camera dry. I was recently vlogging in Birmingham and my uh, camera got wet and I had to go inside and uh, dry off the camera because the LCD screen stopped working. So when you're outside in the winter, do make sure that you keep your camera dry, it's really important. 
So most of you guys that watch my vlogs, you'll know I tend to do a lot of things outside. Now the main reason for that is I don't have any camera lighting. Okay, so weather can be a big obstacle in the winter. So what I've decided to do is pick myself up some uh, cheap camera lighting so I can start shooting some uh, vlogs indoors. Okay guys, so one of the other things you can do in winter is uh, go and check out some of the indoor things, even if it's in your city. You know, most cities have got museums and, you know, interesting things around what other people haven't seen. Okay, another thing you can do in the winter is also, uh, like I do, go to the coffee shop. One of the things I've noticed about vlogging is when you're walking around with the camera and the microphone, people do talk to you. You know, people actually like it. They're interested. They want to have conversations. So it's quite easy to be wandering around the city and, uh, you know, bump into interesting people, have a chat, get a free coffee, whatever it may be. Okay, another one of my big tips for vlogging in the winter is make sure you have a plan before you actually go out filming. Don't waste time out in the freezing wet and cold not understanding what it is you're going out there to do. So guys, I've just been talking to William Frazier of Frazier's Wine Merchants here in Soliol. They've got an absolutely amazing wine shop. I'll leave some information below in the comments section. Go check it out. It's absolutely great. We're going to take a little look at inside now. So this is where all the good stuff is, yeah? This is where all the good stuff is, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. But it's actually nice just to have the products actually on display. No, it's beautiful. You don't really come across that many places where you see decent quality wine, do you? No. Not outside London. I mean, there are mm. a few good retailers about, aren't there? But, uh, yeah, so we've got some fabulous bottles which the old man's bought over the years. Yeah, I mean, they're all wonderful ones, really. Oh, well. £554 a bottle, that's some wine, that. Yes, we have somebody bring up this to me and say, well, can I drink it? And I said, well... Do what you like with it, <laughs> as you buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Will it be drinkable? Well, I don't know. Okay guys, well that's it from me today. I hope you've enjoyed watching today's video. If you have, give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Have a great day.